Hey guys, it's Drake from Spiffy Empire and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this awesome robot that has extendable laser arms. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to create a new map thing here. Oops. There we go. And we're going to start building it right away. So I'm just going to do what I did before and I'm going to have two continuums and I'm going to attach those to the top of the robot, sorry the robot, and then the lasers, if I can find them, uh, lasers, hmm, right here, oh, that doesn't sound good, and I'm going to attach those to the side here. Perfect, so that's what we had earlier, and now we're going to program it. So hit escape, and hold down shift, and click on both of these. And now we have our two lasers, and on both of these, hold down control, click on them, and get length, because we're going to be changing the length of them. Now we're going to need an input sampler to get the key press from the keyboard, and we're going to need positive and sample. Positive is going to read the key and sample is going to output the output. And finally, a math function because currently, positive, if you just hold down the button, it will only increase to one, and one is not long enough for my lasers, so I'm going to use a math function. So, in here, in the math function, we're going to need all of these type in A, in B, and out. Right away, I'm going to connect out by a two length and the other length by holding down control and dragging it. And I'm going to connect sample to in A. I'm going to change the type by clicking on it and change that to MULT, multiply. And in B is going to be a static value or a, um, uh, I don't remember the term for that, but I'm going to set it to four. And I think that's all we, no, we need to set the positive to Q, or whatever you want your key to be. And now if we hold down Q, the lasers extend. And what you can see is it's sampling um, the button Q, and it's going up to a value of one depending on how long you hold it down. It's inputting that number, multiplying it by four, and outputting the length. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and please check out some of my other robots tutorials. Thanks.